Are you sick of your Versa flow beeping like this? I've got a fast, cheap way to fix this. All you need are these parts. It's either the battery that they come with, which I haven't been using for ages. I've been using a Milwaukee battery with four prongs. That, that ended up playing up after a while. Do this as soon as this starts beeping, do this fix and you'll never have a problem. You can use your Milwaukee batteries with all different types of tools and with that and for a fraction of the cost. So your VersaFlow won't look as mashed up as mine. I'm sure of it. But first you gotta undo the five screws on the back. Pull the card out like so. And then you just pinch this ribbon really hard and it just pulls out like that. And this is rubbish. No more beeping. This is the easy one. It's got three ribbons. One, two, three. That's how you know those are the motor wires. The other type are like I'm showing. So this is a tricky bit. You have to tap into these six pins here. Scratch up these contacts a little bit because you need to solder these wires over here. You bridge two, two, two. So there's a total of three wires coming out of the ribbon. Helps if you've got an extra hand. It's easier with a smaller soldering iron. Make sure the tip's clean. If you solder all of them, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how steady my hands are. Oh. I'm just going to crimp these motor wires. Then I stuff the connections in like this and glue the wires so they run like this. You feed the wires through the old battery connection area and click it back in. So here's the $30 module. I've tried a whole bunch of modules and this one is the best one. It's an overkill, but at least it, it works properly and I know it works. So I'd get this one and uh, a little um, container from an electronics shop. And then um, what I'll do is I'll cut some holes in it for, to get the wires out and then it'll eventually look something like this. I um, 
I've found this has been awesome. It, it supports your back really well. That's why I only use material tape um, because it doesn't cut into you um, when you've got it around you. Um, and I, I, I make it pretty tight around my waist because it, it holds my back together. <laughs> it makes it strong. Anyway, I want to get the power wires out of this side of the box and I want to get all the motor wires out of this side. So it's only going to take three wires. And I'm using pretty thick wire, which is also an overkill, just because when I've just used the thin stuff, which would be fine, it um, when you're rolling around on the floor of the boat and, and snagging on stuff, um, those wires break. These ones are pretty strong. It's about, I don't know, three mil. I've already connected uh, the power wires. I've made the middle one a different color just because when you hook it up, um, if you stuff it up, it, it won't work. You just swap the two, the the middle and the one of the outsides. So you don't have to be a smart person to <laughs> know how all, all of it works. If, if you wire it up wrong, that's all that, that's, that's happened. So this part of the box is going to be on the belt. So I want all the holes on the belt side. So I'm going to, th this box is bigger than it needs to be, um, just to make it easier. And that's the uh, closest I could um, find at the electrical shop. And the wires want to go about there, so I'll just put a little mark there. There. And I'll also put the counter rotating switch there. Tape is the perfect height for it, so I just use this for a stencil. This is where the Stanley knife comes in. It's a lot easier than drilling holes and using multi-tools. I just heat the blade up until it gets red hot. Like that. And I'm just gonna do a line the wires come out of. I won't even use a drill to put this switch in. The screwdriver. <laughs> so all of it's in the box now that's what it looks like i've got the motor wires coming out of that side i've got the power wires coming out of this side and they'll go into this part that is from ebay that goes to the milwaukee battery which is your power and it'll last about two hours I'll put a couple of blobs of hot glue gun on the board, just on the corners, not on the electronics, just to hold it there so it doesn't jiggle around. Don't put too much glue on it, just in case the board does poop itself later. Once all that glue's set and all the wires are arranged nice, you can put the cover plate on and screw it on and that's this module completed. This is going to be like this. So you want to feed the wires 
through the slit that we made here the right way up. I know that the black is the wire that's in the middle of the ribbon. I want it to sit about there. Then I put the module in place. Just make sure all the wires don't want to pull out. Once you're happy with the position, it's time to clean all the wires up and put the counter rotating switch in here. I like putting the counter sink switch near the wires so I don't accidentally turn it on while it's on, running full pelt. You have to make sure that this clip is on the right way. It needs to be like that. Otherwise the battery won't click in. There's the finished product. What a masterpiece. And it does the funny bit at the start because it doesn't have Hall effect sensors on it. But it works awesome. I've used it for a month now and it hasn't skipped a beat. You just have to make sure that you crank it when you start it. the motor controller inside this um, that's because this module that's because the motor that's because the three phase motor controller is not what these this plug here is a really bad plug I've had problems with the batteries from the first week I've owned the, the brand new one. I should have um, returned it then and, and um, got it repaired properly. But I didn't. So this is how you fix it. Looks cool.